I'm Lynn Keller, and in the spring I'm going to be teaching English 140, which is a Com B course. You can satisfy both your Com B and your Intro Lit requirements by taking it. And it has a theme to draw together the readings. That theme is violence in American history and in the American psyche. So all the readings that we'll be studying in the class are from the 20th and 21st century. But they all, many of them look back on American history and consider aspects of violence in that history. So we have a unit on, for instance, slavery and its legacies. We read in that unit, we read Toni Morrison's fabulous novel, Beloved. And then there's a unit that has more to do with um, the movement of Anglo-European settlers west in the United States and the kind of violence that um, was done particularly to Native American peoples, but also just the violence of the Western culture, the myths of the cowboy and the, the way in which um, the ideas of the frontier, the kinds of violence that go along with that. And then there's a unit that's a little more about the violence of the American psyche. The course ends with a book by a Canadian writer, not a United States writer, Margaret Atwood, who is engaged in something she calls speculative fiction. It's not quite science fiction because everything in it is based on what's really already technologies that are really already in existence. And she is thinking about the implications of those for the future, and she imagines a kind of post-apocalyptic world. This is a course that I think will really appeal to people who have an interest in history, because it's a wonderful way to learn about history through works of fiction and plays and poems, um, and get a different perspective than you get from a history book, and sometimes one that really can come alive so much more because it has an emotional dimension uh, and the interest of, of a plot that you don't find necessarily in, uh, in history. I think it'll be interesting to those who uh, seek maybe the ways in which literature can really reflect on our culture in pretty serious ways. It doesn't mean the works aren't fun. Some of them are very funny, in fact. Um, Don DeLillo's White Noise is full of humor. But uh, this is work that really is trying to engage very deeply in the problems of our culture and try to think about meaningful solutions. How can we live with less violence? What generates the kinds of violence that we do see in our history? Um, and how does literature play a role in all that?